a lot of viewers, I'm now going to take you through an instrument we call windsock. Windsock are actually uh, found mainly, they are, in, uh, they are found in airports and it normally assists aviation people or uh, pilots who are, actually, who, are, who are actually piloting planes. Now, windsock should be painted with bright colors, like, uh, like you can see black and white, even in some condition you can see some yellowish, some yellow and uh, white colors. But it is actually, it should be actually bright colors, which can be actually, uh, which can cap cap capture the attention of the eye. So, windsock should be put 10 meters from the ground, and uh, and the windsock actually, we've got, the mouth of the windsock is actually very, is very wide. It has a wide mouth, which is actually tied to the pole. And then the, the, the other end is actually narrow. So, winds entering windsock will be forced to enter to exit on the other side which is actually having a small uh, size and it will make the windsock to, uh, to be erect now when a pilot is up there he will be able to know wind strength and wind direction because actually the purpose of windsock is actually to estimate wind strength and wind direction the other the other instrument we said wind uh, wind vane and anemometer it was actually giving us specific values but but for this one it is giving us estimate so a pilot will be able to estimate whether the winds are very strong and which are the wind direction and from that one it will help the pilot to land properly so because in in aviation a pilot should always land or take off against the wind so this instrument is very much useful in aviation and in in airports and uh, uh, windsock we have said it is made of uh, cloth it is made of cloth material, uh, which is also tough, so that it can withstand weather condition. And information from this one is used by avi aviation or in uh, airports. Summary, uh, about winds measurement, we've got wind vane, anemometer, and windsock. Those are three wind instruments which are used in meteorological stations, and they, are normally, they normally give us very good data about the winds. Thank you.